Hello, Veteran 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, I explored a small, another part of this place. I didn't really get too much done. I found a few treasures, fought a boss, got a new wand for Oliver, the Astro Wand. That might be the best wand in the game, I don't know. Maybe there's a even better one that you win for doing a side quest later. I don't for all I know. I don't I don't really know. I have no idea. I haven't looked. And for some reason I can't seem to outrun these fucking big ass robots. Here goes nothing. Here goes. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I am a level 92 party, for Christ's sake. Leave me the fuck alone, robots. Okay, so I guess I'm going... up here to <laughs> fill out the map. And then over here now. Get away from me. Those things are fast. I can't outrun them, man. Let's go. Here goes. Yeah, but they can't They can't survive the power of friggin' ear splitter. There's no friggin' way. figure if I got Dingleberry in the top spot there for Esther, I mean, she'll not die as much, which is good. I mean, how in that last boss battle, Oliver and Swain were doing fine, but she was dying, so it's like, God, what what is your problem there, Esther? Jeez. So yeah, enough of that shit. <laughs> Nothing over this way. Come on, you guys. Is this Sinister Sovereign? Is this a uh, good familiar to pick up? Again, I, I don't understand why it seems like I gotta do all the fighting in these fights. I suppose, well, actually now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably better that, you know, they let the player do something in the fight or else, well... Uh, if the AI characters are doing everything, then what's the point of even playing the game, right? Okay, why is the map not filling in yet? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there we go, there we go. I get to kill another one of these guys. Fuck yeah. Ton of EXP. And I believe the uh, 
Toko, Toko, whatever the hell it's called. The enemy that gives you all the experience. I believe if you uh, get them down to lower HP, they'll actually run away and shit, so. Yeah, you obviously want to kill them before they run away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, some good stat gains for uh, my skeleton guy there. Oh, look, I get to fight another one if I can catch him. Yeah. Maybe two this time? Ah, just one, but still. Still. Jackpot. Shit. But he didn't die from one ear splitter? Whatever, we still got him. Yeah, it might be pretty easy to level up Marcuson actually if I can run into those guys. Jeez. Fucking chest, man. Tonic. Okay, so it's like a Nostrum, except for HP. And. Yeah, this spell is awesome. I wish more. <laughs> I wish more RPGs had spells like this, really. Excuse me. This will be over quick. Oh, look at that. Another one. Fuck yeah, man. I'm getting lucky as hell right now. These guys appear a lot in this area. I want it, I want it, I want it. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. There we go. Yeah, I was look, looking for that, uh, the MP glue. Wow. Fuck. I didn't think you'd be fast enough to catch me. Here goes nothing. If I just ran away. Fuck's sake, man. Why do these things gotta try to attack me? They're stupid. Get away from me. Go away, robot. I'm not gonna fight you. And then, you know, he does that shit, and then for some reason I'm able to walk right past him without him even noticing me. 
They might need to redesign these fucking androids, man. Their peripheral vision is terrible. I don't think they need to upgrade their fucking speed, though. They're pretty quick. I mean, deceptively so as well, man, because they're so fucking big. You wouldn't think they'd be as fast as they are. I was thinking, you know what, I gotta fill out the entire map, but nah, fuck it. I'm not gonna bother. I'm trying to be thorough. Uh, I guess I'm going this way first. Or no, not that way, this way first. Wait a minute. Did I fight these little owl looking guys before? Or is this new? Sharp Here goes Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Either way, it's gonna be fun to watch him die. What can I say? It's a gift. This shit again. Is there anything over here? Wait, wait a minute, though. Maybe there is something over here. I just can't see it. I'm going to check anyways. No secret magical chest over here that I can just... Okay, I guess not. Well... Whatever. This is a pretty long dungeon, man. I was anticipating this place to be a lot shorter than it was. Judging by Shadar's dungeon, I mean, I was expecting Shadar's dungeon to be longer than it was, but it wasn't long at all. It was actually pretty short by comparison. Ah, fuck me. Stupid little mermite fucker. Yeah, you can, you can tell just by that right there that Swain has the best defense out of all the characters. will kill them all. Meteorite fragment. That might be kind of rare. Might be. I don't know if it is or not. Hey, look at this. Tr treasure. A sorcerer's soul. What in the fuck is that? Is it a weapon? It is a blade. Hmm. I'm 
Nah, I'd say this kiss of death is actually probably better for this little guy. Um, is it better than a hero sword though? Well, actually it is. Not better, oh, well, not actually not better accuracy though. So it's not better. Nah, that, that accuracy boost for the hero sword makes it a lot more worth it in my opinion, actually. Uh, who else can use a sword that might need it? No, but see, that's the accuracy again. See, I, that the attack power isn't the best, but it's got great accuracy, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use that one. Fuck. Watch this. Wait a minute, did I fight this him paler before? Maybe I did, I just wasn't paying attention. Quit stealing my glimpse, jerk. Fuck. Blue g glims drop. I'm the one doing all the work, and fucking Swain takes it. What the hell is that shit? Too bad there's no AI setting, like telling like the other AI characters to not pick up glims. That would be a nice option, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go, treasure. So this place is, um, well, it's big, it's, um, pretty easy to navigate through, and, uh, that's about it, really. I mean, I don't know. It's pretty uneventful. And where's the, uh, where's the final dungeon boss music in this game? You know, usually in RPG, they got, like, some kick-ass tune playing in the background for the final dungeon. They don't have that in this game. I mean, come on. Come on, level 5. That's like a rule in RPGs. When you go to a final dungeon, you gotta compose. Or your composer's gotta compose, like, some really kick-ass music. Or, like, at least make it so, you know, I mean, because we've heard this one before. I mean, at least have, like, a different one. If you're not going to have it be a kick-ass tune, make it, like, really evil. But, you know, make it be different than the other shit that we've heard in the game. You know what I mean? A Wizard King's Secret. What's that? It is a Mega Elixir. If we, we were to equate it to Final Fantasy items, it is a Mega Elixir. I guess the only silver lining out of these enemies being able to catch me and attack me is every now and then I'll run into those guys that drop a lot of experience. And I can usually kill them. Very easily. Pie on the bone. Got some nice, uh, some treats there. Ooh, ooh, gotta sneak up, gotta sneak up. Don't want him to run away and then disappear. So you gotta try and sneak up on him. Here goes nothing. Well, from what I can see right now, there's no reason that you should be leveling up anywhere else other than the final dungeon. I mean, before, when I was leveling up, I was actually using the, uh... We 
the weaker version of that guy uh, around Billy Goat's Bluff area, just fighting around that area, and uh, yeah, they don't give out as much experience. Not even close. You're better off just coming here and just fighting around this area, to be honest. If you can kill them reliably, I should say. I guess if you can't kill them reliably, then uh, fight the toeholds around the Billy Goat's Bluff area until you can. Otherwise, shit. I'm fucking leveling up like crazy, and I wasn't even planning on leveling up in this place. But I'm, I'm just doing it exploring. Alright. So here we go. We gotta be close to something here, right? Or is this... Or is this just the, the first part of the dungeon? <laughs> How long is this place? Fancy your chances, do you? Here goes! You like your chances, but we like our chances better. Yeah, goodbye. Better luck next time! Okay, here we go. Save point, and I've been recording for a little over 20 minutes, so that's all for this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Maybe this is the end of the dungeon. Maybe we're going to fight another mini boss. I'm not exactly sure, actually, but we'll find out in the next episode. This has been Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.